My name is Sylvia Bunget, and I'm a professor in psychology and neuroscience at UC Berkeley. And I'm particularly interested in how the brain grows up and supports the ability to reason about complex and novel problems, and also to remember the past and use that information in order to guide our decisions. So the root issue of my research is just how does the brain change to support the development of reasoning and why is it that some kids are so much better at reasoning than others? We think that it's primarily not related to your genes, but rather to the environment that you grow up in. We have people in downtown Oakland where the average household income is about $20,000. And then, you know, five or six BART stops away on the subway, we've got an average family income of $150,000. And it's just a pretty dramatic disparity. In the United States as a whole, about a third of children have lived in poverty at some point in their lives. That is staggering for a nation that's considered to be a first world nation for a third of our children to be growing up in poverty, especially as we're starting to get more and more of a clue as to how poverty could be affecting brain development.